We've got a brand new spool of Samson Vortex rope. I'm going to show you how to do an eye splice in the end of the rope. Uh, this is half inch rope, so we'll use a half inch fid for our layout. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is just lay the fid beside the rope and mark off one fid length on the end of the rope. So that's mark A. Okay. For mark A now, we're going to put our other mark on the other side of the eye. In this case, uh, I want to do a one inch eye, so I'm going to mark off five inches for my eye. All right. And then that's mark B. And then for mark B, we're going to go up the rope one short fit. And if you look at the fit, you'll see right there there's two, uh, two marks in the fit. This is a short fit right here, okay? So we're going to mark up one short fit to mark C. Okay, so there's marks A, B, and C. And before we do anything else now, from mark C, we're going to go up the rope five fits, so we're going to tie a knot just to keep the rope from moving, the core and the cover from moving above that point. There's two, three, four, and five. It doesn't have to be exact, but just approximately five fid links up the rope will tie an alpine butterfly. All right. All right, now we'll go back down the other end of the rope to where we put our marks. And for mark A here, I want to go eight strands towards the end of the rope and put mark T. Okay, so we'll go eight strands. Okay, so there's mark T. And for mark T, we're going to do our layout for the taper on the, the cover. And I'll zoom in a little so you can see what we're doing there. Okay, so here's Mark T again. Okay, for Mark T, we're going to mark off six pairs of strands here uh, going towards the end of the rope that, are, that we're going to remove to do the taper. And we do those at five strand intervals. So we're just going to start from Mark T, we're going to count off five strands and mark that first pair, okay? And we just keep doing that. Just There's a second pair. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, one more. Pair here. Okay, so there's our six pairs uh, that we've marked for the taper on the cover. All right, so back out again. All right, so now the next step is to go back up here to the to mark B, which, if you recall, is the, is the upstream side of the eye. Okay, and we're going to remove the core from inside the cover right there at mark B. To do that, I use a little marlin spike and I use a wire fid. And all I use the wire fid for is just to go in there and kind of get in between two strands and pry it back a little so that I can see the, uh, the core in there, okay? And once you can see the core, just stick your marlin spike in there and stick it with the marlin spike. Pull your wire fid back out. And now you're just gonna pry up on those core strands while you push back with your thumbnail on the cover strand so that that core pops out of there like that. All right. Once you got it coming, you can get, dig a little deeper, get a little deeper purchase on it. Just keep working the cover back with your thumbnails, kind of bend the rope sharply like that. Okay, and the cover will do, or the core will just pop right out like that, okay? So just pull it on out like that, okay? So now we've got the core extracted from the cover. Okay, the next step is we're going to mark the, the uh, core here where we got to, with our first mark, do that. We need to go back up here to our alpine butterfly and just milk all the slack out of the cover 
do that a couple of times. It actually helps if you put this over a cleat, but I'm not going to do that here. Okay, so now we've got all the slack out of the rope, and we can mark our, uh, our uh, core here where it exits the cover. Just put a little mark on there like that, okay? We're going to pull that out of there. I'll make that mark a little more obvious, okay? And we're going to put three marks on the core. From mark one here, we're going to go up one short fid and make mark two, all right? And then from there, we're going to come up one fid plus a short fid and make mark three. So we'll go one fid and then a short fid above that, and that is mark three. Okay, so we've got three marks now on our core. Okay, um, next step here, we're going to go to the end of our um, of our core, and we're going to, for about five inches back here, we're going to remove about about six or seven strands. We're just going to reduce the volume, okay? So I just take my scissors here and start pulling strands out. They got about six or seven strands. And we'll go one more. Okay, so cut those strands off after you pull them out. Okay, so now we've reduced the volume on that last five inches or so there. Then we're going to go back over here to our cover strands, and we are going to remove those pairs that we marked earlier. Okay, so just start pulling them out. And be careful when you do this to pull, when you pull these strands out, pull them away from the end of the rope. Be real careful to pull away from the end of the rope. Don't pull in the other direction here or you'll bunch up your eye strands back here and ruin this place. So just start taking those strands out of there. Two more pairs to go here. And the last pair. Okay, so now Okay, you can see we have six pairs of strands there that are pulled out and ready to be cut off. So all you have to do is just take your scissors down and cut those off where they emerge from the rope. Okay, so that's the taper on the cover. Next step now is to bury the cover inside the core here. And to do that, we're going to go back and find our marks here on the core. And what we're going to do now is from mark two here on the, the core, we're going to bury the cover in through there and come out over here at mark three. All right. To do that, we just take our FID, our wire FID. And in this case, I've got a wire FID with a handle on it. I insert it in here at mark three. Be careful to go in between strands, not through the middle of them. 
Okay, and run it on down through the core. Until you come out over here at mark two, okay? This where it's important to try to come between the strands and not through the middle of them. It just makes it a whole lot easier when you're pulling the the uh, core or the cover through the core. Okay, then take this, uh, take your cover and put it in your wire fit. But let about an inch and a half or so of it uh, stick through there. Okay, and then just pull with your fit here and pull that through there. You'll see it suck down in there. Go right on through and come out right there. Okay. Then take your, I take an alligator clip at that point, and I just clip it right there to make that so that it can't accidentally get pulled back in there before I'm ready. Okay, now the next step is to bury the, uh, the core here inside the cover. And we're going to do that by going in, this is mark T if you recall right here, okay. We're going to go in there at mark T and bring it all the way through and out over here at mark C, okay. So just bunch this up a little bit by pulling that out. Okay, we're going to take our wire fit and we're going to shove it in right here. We're going to run it along through here and come out over there at mark T. So, just stick it in. Again, be careful to go in between strands. You don't want to have to end up pulling it through. Okay, right there. Just run it along. Be careful not to snag your core strands. Run it all the way through and come out over here at mark T, all right? Be careful to come out on the same side. I mean, you know, you, you want to be on the back side here so that this doesn't get twisted. Okay, so just right there at mark T. You're going to bring that out like that, okay? Then take your core strands here, stick them in your fid, and Leave about an inch and a half or so sticking out here so that when this wraps back over, it stays fairly thin, okay? And, okay, just pull that down. Okay, now, right there, you're just going to pull on your fid and pull it inside. Push up on the, okay, so see how that goes in? And just keep pulling. Keep pushing and pulling here, and it'll pop out right over. See it starting to come out right there now? Okay. I just pull on that, it'll come right on through there. All right, so now we have the core inside the covers. Pull this like this, and you'll see the crossover starting to close up there, okay? At that point, you want to pull on both ends. Pull this out a little, okay? And then just pull on this, pull on both ends, this end and this end, okay? And you watch that crossover right here, and you'll see it start to close up. Yeah, that's closing up. Okay, just pull hard until it pulls down in, and then pull on both the, the uh, cover strands and the core strands until that crossover right there gets real tight. All right. Okay, and you can milk this back a little. Take a look to see how your crossover looks. Okay, looks pretty good. Pull that. Pull that. Okay, that's a pretty good crossover. Nice and tight, which is what you want. Okay, then we're going to bury our cover strands here. Before we do that, we're going to taper the end. Just put a long, gradual taper on it with your scissors. Just start cutting strands off at a long, gradual angle like that. All right, now good. So then to bury that, all we have to do is hold the crossover here and milk that the the, cover, the core strands. It'll cover that that uh, watch the core just or watch the cover get bury itself. See how that goes down in there? Okay, just keep milking that around. Okay, so now the cover is buried inside the core, and all we have to do is over here hold the crossover. Milk all the slack out of the cover down back towards where the core is coming out there. Okay, milk all the slack out of it. Okay, then make a mark right there where the core comes out of the cover. 
grab a hold of this and just pull that back out like that and cut this off about a quarter of an inch short of that mark. Okay. Okay, now all we have to do is, is taper this down and bury it. Okay. To start with, I, what I do here is remove about six or so strands right where the, the uh, core emerges from the cover here. Start grabbing strands and pulling them out of there. Okay, there's four. Five. There's six. Okay, we're going to cut those off. All right, and then the rest of these, we're just going to flare them out and cut them off in a long, gradual taper, starting back about two inches from the end or so here. So just what you want is a nice, long, gradual taper. That'll give you a nice, smooth splice. Okay, feels good. All right, so now we have all this ready to do our final berry. And to do that, we're going to move over on to the cleat. Okay, so now we're going to hook this onto our cleat here. Okay, <clears throat> and that way we can pull against that to do the berry on, on the eye here, all right? Okay, so now I'm hooked over my cleat, and all I have to do to start the berry is to grab right here at the crossover, and when I pull, you'll see that that end of that, the core strands, will bury inside the cover, all right? Just keep milking it back and forth until they bury completely, all right? Now then, we can do the berry on the rest of the eye, okay? So just hold right here inside the loop and keep equal tension on both sides of this, okay? And just start sliding the, the cover strands over the core. And you know, again, keep your hand in here so you can maintain tension on both sides. And just slide that along. You can see how it's starting to bury, okay? And once you get to there, just go down and grab slack on the cover and pull it this way as you continue to roll that around like that, okay? Now we've got that down about an inch and a half from where it's going to bury. All right, so at this point what I do is I stick a carabiner in there. Like that. That way I can keep tension on it while I pull slack, uh, milk the slack in the cover over the, the core. Okay, so just go down and grab some slack and keep pulling like that. Okay, and see how that's sliding over there? Okay, once you get like about to there, just massage it a little bit. That'll loosen up the strands so they continue to go together. All right, so now we're going to go down, we're going to grab more slack and pull on that. Okay, so just grab slack on the cover, keep pulling hard. Okay, see how that's closing up? Starting to close up. Okay, massage it a little more. Okay. And we'll go down and grab some more cover. Pull hard. Okay. Just right there towards the end. Pull hard. All right. So see that? Starting to go to close up. Massage it a little more. When you get towards the end here, that's when you want to pull hard. OK. 
Okay, we've got her just about there. See that? One more time, but we're going to massage it a little bit. We're going to do one more. Right here towards the end, just pull hard. All right. So, there we are. Looking good. All we have to do now is put this on the cleat and pull the bunching out of here. If you look there, that, those strands are all bunched up. So we'll go back over to the cleat now. Okay, so we just take this off here. Stick this onto the, onto the uh, cleat like that. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to grab right here and pull hard and pull out all the bunching out of the strands right there. So just grab like that and you can actually feel it. Let loose, okay? So now, there we go. That's the finished splice. So to finish this, all we have to do is whip lock it. And I'll show you how to do that in a separate video.